This is an incredible moment in this country. It turns out that there's a lot of latent radicalism that was just waiting to be woken up. There are way more of us than we thought. We have to adjust our expectations. We have to think bigger and more radical and deeper. You know, I keep saying that all these pundits on TV are going, what are they protesting about? I don't understand. And the rest of the world is going, what took you so long? We've been waiting. There's a special responsibility here in the United States to protest these policies that affect the entire world, that affect them first and worst, not just because of the food crisis, but also the climate crisis and so many other ways. The world is counting on us now to succeed, to maintain this momentum, to build on this momentum, to be more than we ever imagined. In 2008, students in Italy started a slogan, and the slogan was, we will not pay for your crisis. Yeah. Around the world, we have been paying for the bank's crisis. The most vulnerable people have been paying for that crisis. And this moment is about saying no more. It stops here. And more than that, we want our money back. And we know where the money is. It's right here. One thing I think that's really important is as this movement grows and as it becomes more popular, it becomes vulnerable to co-optation and people who want to minimize what this is really about. There's ways that we can resist this. We can resist this by developing the democratic mechanisms to speak for ourselves. To not allow this movement to just be cannon fodder for Washington policy wonks. System because we want more than that. We want more than that. We want to get at the fundamentals of why this system is broken. That hasn't just caused the global economy to crash, but is causing all of our natural systems to sure. crash as well. <laughs> Capitalism destroys the systems on which it depends. It destroys the people who can no longer afford to buy its products. Thank you. And it destroys the rivers and the air. This is an insane model. It has to stop. That's why we can't allow ourselves to lose this moment. It's too important. You know, San Francisco had so many strong movements. This is about all of those movements coming together, beginning to articulate an alternative together. We don't have a lot of time. The stakes are so high. The climate crisis puts us on a deadline. We need to turn this around fast. We can't get lost in infighting, in purism, but also not in co-optation. Yeah. This is a radical city. This is a radical city, and we need you to lead. We need your leadership. We need your inspiration. Thank you for the best welcome to any 